Hello YouTube, my name is Brent Time, and today I'm going to show you how to do stream donations. You might have seen this on a lot of streams recently. I don't think anyone really covers it as much as I'm going to cover it right now. I'm going to do exactly what I did with Nightbot. And uh, yeah, so you're going to head on over to www.streamdonations.net. This is created by the same guy that made Nightbot. And as soon as that's done, you're going to hit connect with Twitch. I'm going to do that now. Um, I just don't want you guys to see me typing this in and then you're gonna authorize the device for twitch which um there we go okay now i can't show you everything because i don't want you to steal any of this okay so um the channel is obviously team lucky seven gaming uh you know blah 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 if you wanted to donate you uh you would put this link and actually that's not it um there it is right there is the donation link and then it would donate to me blah 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 blah. okay so now how do you get the fancy you know flash on screen play music kind of crap all right we're gonna need two things okay first let's get donation alerter it'll download it's a couple megs it's six megs actually we're going to put this off to the side for right now. We really don't need it at the moment. Let's actually go ahead and get visual alert as well. Now we're going to keep this open. Now if you're, I'm going to show you how to install it for OBS, but first let's do for other software. Okay, we're going to skip the install video because that's not relevant to us. All right, first uh, let's go ahead and set our art style to text centered. All right, so first let's add our username. Uh, mine's team lucky seven whoops gaming our, our API blah 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 you put your own in which will be found right there hit show key and you put it in alert amount now this is gonna be it will only pop up if they uh, do this amount now I put in a dollar just how it is okay next um, you're gonna need if you're gonna use your own custom one you're gonna need a custom alert but before we do that, let's go ahead and show you if I would just do one of these um, pre-rendered options. Um, honestly, I think this is a lot better. You put in your API, uh, the new donation, whatever from Night Dev. It'll say the name, then it'll say the donation amount. That's freaking awesome. All right, now this is hexadecimal um, numbers. If you understand them, you can get your like exact uh, color that you prefer, or you can just go through and go through all these. Blah blah blah. blah. All right, now let's go to the awesome part, which is using the use my own logo. Now, to do this, you're going to need to get his template. I've already got apparently multiple. Um, once you've got the template, go ahead and open it. Uh, mine's going to open in Photoshop. I believe it is not a, it might be a PSD. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but if you do not own Photoshop, uh, you can use it in GIMP. I prefer Photoshop, a lot of other people do as well, but it is not a free program. Alright, so right there you can see name goes here. Now, this is essentially, like it's, you know, stated, it's a template. You can add on to this, you can make it look better, blah 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 blah. Just because it says name goes here, doesn't mean that needs to necessarily be there. And what I mean when I say that, is the the program doesn't read that name goes here it doesn't read that it doesn't replace that text so that does not need to be there you don't want any text there preferably unless you're doing something with actual text to make it look nice now we're gonna go ahead and open something of mine that i did um users brent uh it's gonna be my downloads uh let's see where is it do 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 it's so oh okay that's interesting um template done okay here it is all right so and if you want this go ahead and message me um this is a pretty badass one i think uh, actually if you want one done that's really nice you can message me we can work out a deal um you know whatever i'm yes i'm gonna charge for graphics um sorry but I'm not the best, but I do do a nice job. I believe this looks really good, in my own opinion. Now, obviously, the name would go right there. Your subscriber, or not subscriber, but uh, 
Oh, it's not there. I deleted it. All right, the name will go right in the center. It'll say it, and then it'll say their donation amount like on the other thing. Now, what you'll need to do once you have it done is hit File, Save As, um, and then save it as a PNG. Make sure you save it as a PSD as well so that we can keep it for future use. We're going to go ahead and close that because we actually do not need it any longer. Then what you're going to do is you're going to actually choose the file from your... Um, stop this. <laughs> Uh, you're going to choose the file from here, and we just saw it. Make sure it's not the PSD version. Oh, it stopped. Okay, there it goes. Now it'll say $100, blah, blah, blah. You can see exactly how it looks. It looks really nice. Um, then you're going to hit next. It'll give you, um, you know, it'll give you your link. You hit next, uh, you know, and then that's it. That's all you have to do for that. Now... We're also going to hit the uh, install for OBS. Let's go ahead and get that going. And while that's going, now let's get how exactly streamers get a sound into their... Once someone donates or someone becomes a subscriber uh, or what, what have you. So first we need to hit new. Okay, yeah, I know that's here now. Okay, first we need to hit new folder. And we're going to type in donation tracker. Uh, or you can type stream donations, you can call it whatever you want, and we're going to extract every single one of these files over to here. A lot of other people just hit extract. I like making new folders because I can name them easier. Um, it's just it's just how I do things. Okay, so we'll close that uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip, whatever you use, and now we can actually start up the donations. Now you're going to notice that it only says this, which means that it's not actually running because your settings haven't been configured. To configure your settings, they may not already be ready for Notepad, but you can right click them, edit with notepad, I'm going to edit with notepad++. Plus plus, which is a free program you can obtain from the interwebs. Okay, next you need to type in your channel name, so let's type in Team Lucky 7 Gaming. Then your API key, I already showed you where to get that from. And next you can say, well do you want it to have your daily donation? False. Daily recent donation? False. Daily top donation? False. Now essentially what this means is it will, sh um, in a file that's actually right... Uh, I actually just missed it. Donator list. It will actually be right in there that it will, if that's true, it'll write it to that file. Um, so if you want to display all your donations in the day on the screen, uh, you can do it with that. Okay, now, this is the same thing with the file. For the sound to play, it needs to be a dollar. For file minimum, a dollar. Um, you know, obviously it was the same way with the thing showing up on screen, which I'll show you how to use in one brief second. Play wave true. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, so we're going to rename our sound to, um, Game of Thrones got dot wave. And you'll see that I have that in one second. Top donation. If you wanted to make a top donation sound, I do not. I'm just going to make it that again, and we're going to save it. Now, obviously, it's not going to actually play uh, due to the fact that I do not have uh, my API key in, which, again, I'm not going to set up um, because we don't necessarily... Actually, I'll set it up in a second. I'll let you see it. All right. Next, we need to hit sound, and you can play. You can hear the sound. Obviously, it's some lightning. Now, if we wanted to add that Game of Thrones sound, um, which should be in here... Okay, to do that, let's go ahead and copy it, and let's paste it inside the folder. Alright, and at 5. Alright, right there. So now we need to just rename it to got, and we actually made one mistake. It's actually not a wave in this case, it's actually an mp3. Now that's going to prove a problem, um, because this does, I don't think it's going to play it as an mp3, but I could be wrong. I don't think I've tried that. And let me go ahead and get my API key so you guys can actually see this in action. Which I'm assuming is what you came to do. Considering this is a tutorial. Alright, save. Okay, now we're ready to go. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull up the donations tracker. Alright, now we're logged into Team Lucky 7 Gaming. Now, to test it out, we're going to... Oh. So I got to reset the key. <laughs> All right, to test it out, um, once I reset the key, 
I forgot I could do that. Alright, now let's restart it. And let's refresh that page so we don't show that again. Alright, so now to test it out, let's go ahead and add a donation. Now we're going to call him Joe. We're going to call his last name Joe, so it's Joe Joe. And his username is Joe. I don't know how he got it, but he got it. Um, and then his, his time is Joe I am boss. I don't know. Yeah, let's just make it J uh, F. I don't know. Send donation alert. Add. Now, it should have played a sound, but it did not, because the MP3 file format does not work, like I stated. Um, so, what we have to do, <laughs> and this is going to be quite annoying, but we're what we're going to do to convert it is we're going to open Audacity, and we're going to put the file into Audacity, and now Game of Thrones is now in Audacity. Audacity is a free program found on the interwebs as well. Um, it is completely free. It's for, um, you know, audio generation and all that such. Let's go ahead and play. We obviously hear it. It's all good. Now we can take out our snippet um, and we can say file. And then we're going to export this part specifically. We're going to call it got and we're going to make it a WAV file. So go ahead and save. Hit OK. Now it's going. Uh, that last part was to reference the file. Now we have it. We're going to put it in. It's actually a WAV file this time. And now we're going to go back to our notepad file. And we're going to change that to wave. And we're going to change that to wave. Now we can hit save. And let me just put the API key back in. And now let's restart our donations. And it should be good. Yep, it's all good. Now we can send another donation our way. That is completely false. Uh, F and send donation alert. Yes, add and All right, this is a bit longer than I had suspected all right, let's go ahead and close that. So obviously now we got the thing working. Now to do certain audio effects in Audacity, you can look at other videos and all that such. I'm not going to cover that here. Now, what's your next question is, well, I got the visual alert working. How do I view it? Now to view the thing, you're actually going to need, um, it'll, at the end, it's going to give you a link. Now specifically mine is linked and I saved it right here. And you're going to get this completely green window. Now it's probably hurting your eyes right now so I'm going to move it. Now that green window is actually for things other than OBS. Now with OBS we can actually get um, this installed. So let's go ahead and open OBS. Okay so I figured out exactly what was wrong. Um, how to install it onto my OBS but I do not, I cannot get the CLR browser to work. So what we're actually going to do is the same thing I would do uh, with XSplit. So that way you can actually use it in XSplit's case uh, because my XSplit is not working currently. Alright, so what we're going to have to do, and uh, hopefully you can find out how to chroma key on X, uh, XSplit. I'm sure there's guides on YouTube. Um, so all you're going to have to do is hit add. And then you're going to hit uh, monitor capture. Then you can hit uh, monitor, actually add window capture uh, for this one it's actually a lot easier hit donation alert enter window then hit sub region select the region we're going to select exactly where i know this is going to pop up so that way it's actually a lot easier and it's going to pop up somewhere around there now you don't have to be properly exact because you're going to chroma key out anything that is not uh, exact so let's go ahead and hit that select the color it's green hit ok now we're going to send a donation alert to this from our lovely donation alerter. And there we go, it's on screen. Now obviously it's cut off a little bit because I didn't get it exactly right. And there's whiteness because I didn't put the JPEG in. Or I put a JPEG in instead of a PNG, which is a portable network graphic rather than a... Uh, or I put it in a... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, the portable network graphic allows for transparency. This uh, JPEGs do not. And uh, that's what happened in this scenario. Now, that'll work the same way with XSplit, and you're allowed to do that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to run the uh, the, dona the donations uh, command prompt window along with this. And when you get a donation, it'll play the sound, and it'll come up on screen. 
you make sure it's over top all your sources and you're good to go and that's how you set up donation alert slash subscriber alert um for your channel i hope you had a fantastic time and again if you want me to make a custom one just shoot me a uh private message or email me at l7gaming at yahoo.com or brenttime at teamlucky7gaming.com i hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh yeah i'll see you guys later